आई एम धर्मेंद्र पाठक इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो आई वे डिस्क्राइब अबाउट इनर्जी रिनेबल एंड नॉन रिनेबल सोर्सेज ऑफ इनर्जी हाइड्रो इलेक्ट्रिसिटी विंड इनर्जी एज लाइक टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी डिस्कस अबाउट अल्टरनेटिव सोर्स ऑफ इनर्जी अल्टरनेटिव सोर्स ऑफ इनर्जी मीन्स द सोर्स ऑफ इनर्जी व्हिच कैन बी यूज्ड इन प्लेस ऑफ मेन सोर्स ऑफ इनर्जी मेन सोर्स ऑफ इनर्जी मीन्स द इनर्जी व्हिच आर कन्वीनियंटली यूज एज फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन मोर टुडे वर्ल्ड फसिल फ्यूल लाइक मिनरल ऑयल इज रिनेबल सोर्स ऑफ इनर्जी इट इज वाइडली यूज इन वेरियस सेक्टर्स लाइक इन ट्रांसपोर्टेशन इन इंडस्ट्री इन हाउस होल्ड एज लाइक हेयर वी डिस्क्राइब अबाउट दोज टाइप ऑफ सोर्सेज हुच आर यूज टू रिप्लेस that mineral oil or non renewable source of energy on which modern world is based and here we describe about some renewable source of energy which can be used as alternative source of energy as for example this chapter at first this chapter belong to energy this is third chapter of science for class 10 at first we describe about alternative source of energy we can define alternative source of energy as the source of energy which can be used in place of main source of energy or convenience source of energy are called alternative source of energy alternative source of energy used to replace most common source of energy which are used in our surrounding or which are frequently used in surrounding these sources are renewable source of energy that is never get finished or can be replaced again in short period of time example of such type of alternative source of energy are biofuel nuclear energy geothermal energy tidal energy and several other alternative source of energy are found and here we describe some common alternative source of energy previously we describe about hydroelectricity wind energy these are widely used at first we describe about biofuel or it is also known as biomass energy
and we can define biomass energy as a the source of energy obtained from living sources like plants and animals and degradable wastes are called biomass energy or biofuel biofuel can be obtained from parts of plants parts of animals here the source of energy obtained from living sources like plant animals and plants or plants and animals are called biofuel biofuel is a renewable source of energy an example of biofuel energy are dried parts of plants straw or agriculture straw or residue animals dung wood and when degradable wastes or biodegradable wastes decompose then it gives methane gas which is known as biogas it can be also used as a source of energy and here we discuss about biogas biogas can be produced from biogas plant we can use several wastes from surrounding like a parts of vegetable or wastes of household which are organic or degradable wastes or biodegradable wastes are used as a used to produce biogas and now we define about biogas and the process by which we obtain biogas and also uses or advantage of biogas biogas can be produced in biogas plant in biogas plant we use wastes degradable wastes degradable parts of animals like animal wastes degradable parts of plants like a peel of fruits and vegetables and here we define biogas as a the gaseous fuel obtained from decomposition of organic matter degradable wastes or living sources is called biogas we use several degradable substance to produce biogas and it is chemically methane or the gas produced by decomposition of organic matter is methane when it burn then gives huge amount of heat energy which can be used in kitchen as a fuel or gives light energy by burning and here we describe about process of formation of biogas or explanation of biogas plant with structure at first we draw the structure of biogas plant biogas plant is made by 
digging ground or making tank inside the ground that tank contains opening at the top for passage of gas and divided into two chambers lower chamber contains two openings from one of them collect slurry or degradable wastage of surrounding through this opening we add raw materials which are used to produce gas and inside the tank the wastage organic matter decomposed and produce gas that gas pass through the outlet with help of pipe that gas can be used in kitchen and another of your opening present in other side of tank through which after decomposition residue material or unutilized material or the wastage which remains in solid form that can be used as a manure it is used in field to increase fertility and in this way biogas plant help to produce biogas which is a renewable source of energy now we discuss about the government of nepal should invest in or encourage the establishment of biogas plant because we all know that nepal is agricultural country therefore raw material used in biogas plant found everywhere about more than 80% people of nepal at first the government of nepal should invest in or help in establishment of biogas plant it is mainly due to or it is mainly of reasons or reason for this is nepal is agricultural country raw materials used in it easily available in different place or in a rural area or in city area of nepal about 80% of population dependent in agriculture eighty percent of population dependent may reflect that all raw materials are easily available other reason is here biogas is a renewable source of energy alternative source of energy it help in conservation of non-renewable sources and here we can write it is a renewable source of energy and burn without smoke and due to that reason it is also known as white fuel generally coal mineral oil burn then it gives gas but actually it burn without harmful smokes other reason is in biogas plant we can use several household wastes and therefore it help in reduction of wastes from surrounding and it help it it help to maintain cleanliness cleanliness in our surrounding also and 
several disadvantage sorry several advantage found in biogas plant and here we summarize some common advantage at first it is renewable source of energy therefore can be produced again and again never get finished other we can write it is clean source of energy or does not pollute environment third we can write it help in management of wastage from surrounding other advantage we can write biogas plant is most important source of energy it can be used in used as a fuel in kitchen and also for lighting purpose and it is used in as a fuel in kitchen and lighting purpose these are called advantage of biogas energy after that we describe about next other alternative source of energy like nuclear energy we all know that nucleus of an atom possesses energy and the energy obtained from nucleus of an atom is called nuclear energy from nucleus of an atom we can produce energy by nuclear reaction and here we describe about nuclear energy at first we define nuclear energy the energy obtained from nucleus of an atom is called nuclear energy nucleus of an atom contains huge amount of energy those atom which has unstable nucleus if its nucleus broken down or fused with other nucleus in both condition it produce energy generally heavier nucleus when broken down into lighter nuclei or lighter nuclei fused together and form heavier nucleus in both condition energy produced and in this way the energy obtained from nucleus of an atom is called nuclear energy and here we define about nuclear energy the process of obtaining nuclear energy energy obtained from nucleus of an atom is called nuclear energy it is or it can be used to produce electricity when a nucleus of an atom broken down or fused or splitted in both condition huge amount of heat energy is produced and here nuclear energy can be obtained by the chemical process which is known as 
न्यूक्लियर रिएक्शन एंड टू प्रोड्यूस न्यूक्लियर एनर्जी आल्सो यूज और इट कैन बी यूज टू प्रोड्यूस इलेक्ट्रिसिटी न्यूक्लियर एनर्जी कैन बी ऑबटेन्ड बाय और प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय न्यूक्लियर रिएक्शन एंड इट इज ऑफ टू टाइप्स और न्यूक्लियर रिएक्शन इज ऑफ टू टाइप्स व्हाट आर दिस एट फर्स्ट न्यूक्लियर फ्यूजन रिएक्शन व्हिच इज आल्सो नोन एज थर्मो न्यूक्लियर फ्यूजन रिएक्शन when a smaller nuclei or when large number of smaller nucleus fused and gives heavier nucleus the energy produced is known as nuclear energy and the process of fusion of these nuclei to give heavier nucleus is called nuclear fusion reaction and we can define the nuclear reaction in which heavier nuclei or heavier nucleus is produced by fusion of a smaller nuclei is called nuclear fusion reaction or thermonuclear fusion reaction for this process high amount of heat energy high temperature needed and gives huge amount of or produce huge amount of heat energy an example of this reaction is thermonuclear reaction takes place in sun in which four hydrogen atom or four वन एच वन इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ हाई टेम्परेचर हाई प्रेसर गिव्स हिलियम एंड गामा रे और इनर्जी इन द फॉर्म ऑफ हीट एंड लाइट एंड ड्यू टू थर्मो न्यूक्लियर फ्यूजन सन और स्टार प्रोड्यूस हीट एंड लाइट इनर्जी अनदर एग्जाम्पल वी कैन एक्सप्लेन nuclear fusion reaction by hydrogen bomb our hydrogen bomb is based on it or hydrogen bomb is based in thermonuclear fusion reaction this type of reaction is uncontrolled and here we explain the nature of न्यूक्लियर फ्यूजन रिएक्शन जनरली द न्यूक्लियस व्हिच टेक पार्ट इन न्यूक्लियर रिएक्शन आर कॉल्ड न्यूक्लियर फ्यूल एंड इट इज अनकंट्रोलेड रिएक्शन इट मींस व्हाट द रिएक्शन कंटिन्यू टिल न्यूक्लियर फ्यूल रिमेंस इन and other character type of other type of nuclear reaction is nuclear fission reaction or thermonuclear fission reaction both and here we describe the nuclear reaction in which a smaller or heavier nucleus broken down to give two or more nuclei is called nuclear fission reaction when heavier nucleus bombarded by neutron then it broken down nucleus get splitted and gives lighter nuclei and along with that neutron and energy is produced such 
reaction is called nuclear fission reaction and we can define it as a the nuclear reaction in which lighter or heavier nuclei nucleus broken down into smaller nuclei is called nuclear fission reaction the nuclear fission reaction are used to or or the nucleus or heavier nucleus used in this reaction are called a nuclear fuel generally radioactive elements are used as a nuclear fuel as for example uranium francium plumbium plutonium curium such type of radioactive elements which has unstable nucleus are called nuclear fuel it is used to produce nuclear energy as for example when uranium is bombarded with neutron the uranium having atomic number 92 which is bombarded by neutron gives barium and krypton the atomic number of uranium is 92 and atomic mass is 235 that get collided with neutron gives 56 barium 139 and 36 krypton 94 or atomic number of krypton is 36 and mass is 94 and three neutron are produced along with neutron energy released and here u is uranium b is barium and krypton is produced here in this way we found that when neutron strike on heavier nucleus then it gives lighter nuclei and the reaction is called nuclear fission reaction this reaction is controlled reaction or in nuclear power plant when nucleus have or heavier nucleus bombarded by lighter or neutron then it is split into smaller nuclei and therefore this reaction is called controlled reaction and it is used in or used in atom bomb or atom bomb is based on it and it is also listen here used to produce electricity in a nuclear power plant nuclear fuel is bombarded with neutron and generate heat energy that heat energy used as a or used in a generator or heat engine to produce electricity in this way we can produce nuclear energy by two ways by thermonuclear fusion or nuclear fusion process and another nuclear fission reaction these two are called types of nuclear reaction and here neutron bombarded on uranium gives barium and krypton here single nucleus change into two or here two nuclei and along with three neutron produce that neutron continuously strike other available uranium and it 
absorb in the form of chain and this reaction is called chain reaction and it react continue in the form of chain enormous amount of heat is produced by this process and after that here we describe about other alternative source of energy which is geothermal energy and tidal energy we all know that inside the earth there is huge amount of heat energy in outer core and inner core about 3000 or more temperature is found inside the earth surface if we use the heat energy present inside the earth as a source of energy then it is called geothermal energy at first we define geothermal energy the energy obtained from heat energy found inside the earth is called geothermal energy geothermal energy can be utilized to produce electricity and that can be formed or obtained in a different place as for example geothermal energy can be obtained from or obtained near the volcanic eruption from hot water spring and here we firstly describe it can be utilize near the or near volcanic eruption during volcanic eruption magma or lava come out from the earth surface that contains high temperature enough heat energy that heat energy can be used to generate electricity with help of heat engine or with help of generator another we can write from hot water spring in mountainous region or in himalay region hot water spring is found we all know that high hills and mountains are formed by volcanic eruption therefore these spring or river which are originated from inner part of mountain contains hot water generally in some hot water spring boiling water also comes and that boiling water or hot water can be used as a source of energy another is here by boring on the earth surface with help of boring we make several bores on the earth surface up to the layer where high temperature is found and through these all holes यार वी कनेक्ट वाटर पाइप और विथ हेल्प ऑफ वाटर टैप वी सप्लाई वाटर एंड भेपर्स कम आउट थ्रो इट दैट भेपर्स यूज इन स्टीम इंजिन विच हेल्प टू प्रोड्यूस इलेक्ट्रिसिटी एंड इन दिस वे वी कैन यूटिलाइज जियोथर्मल इनर्जी एज ए सोर्स ऑफ इनर्जी 
and in by these three process we can utilize or obtain geothermal energy another form of energy is tidal energy in sea and ocean tides observed due to gravitational attraction force between the sun and the earth or the moon and the earth tides observe in sea and when we construct a dam near the sea side then due to high tides causes water get filled in a dam that dam connected to the slope tunnel in which kinetic energy increases while flowing and then we connect turbine in it and here we define firstly the energy obtained from tides of sea or ocean is called tidal energy it is also renewable source of energy or can be used in place of main source of energy therefore known as alternative source of energy at first tides fill water in the dam at a higher altitude that contains potential energy and flow through the tunnel or slope tunnel and when water flow through the tunnel then it possesses kinetic energy used to rotate turbine that turbine remains connected to the generator which convert kinetic energy into electrical energy and in this way electricity can be produced and thus we explain how tidal energy work mostly tidal energy can be produced in coastal region or seaside region here we know that in context of nepal there is no possibility of tidal energy it is because nepal is landlocked country and far from the sea and ocean and there is no probability of such energy because of Nepal is far from the sea and landlocked country these two regions causes there is low possibility of or no possibility of tidal energy in our country our country is our very geographical structure and here now we discuss about present status of energy consumption of the world and we def- describe it in various sources with its percentage at present mostly or most of the demand of energy fulfilled by mineral oil like a petrol diesel kerosene and it is about 35% demand of energy fulfilled from mineral oils other is coal about 17% or nearly 27% of world's demand for energy fulfilled from coal or solid fossil fuel 
other is your biomass like a plants and animals product provide about that 13 percent demand or fulfilled 13 percent demand of energy next is here hydropower or hydroelectricity or hydropower plant supply about 5 percent demand of energy next other is nuclear energy and also here which is called it nuclear power plant about 3 percent demand of energy fulfilled or obtained from nuclear power plant and here we describe about various alternative source of energy which are used as a main source of energy in the next video we discuss more about the question related to or problems related to energy and 